हेलो एवरी वन अ वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट वन मोर वीडियो ओके ऑफ माई प्ले लिस्ट प्लेसमेंट इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन ऑन सी प्रोग्रामिंग एम आर वी डी ओके एंड बिफोर वी मूव अड लेट मी रिमाइंड यू अभी तक अगर चैनल सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया है तो डू सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल ओके यू कैन सी द सब्सक्राइब बटन राइट डाउन देयर ओके एंड डू हिट द बेल आइकन एज वेल सो दैट विल एनेबल द अलर्ट्स फॉर माई न्यू वीडियोज in i hope all of you uh, know my three playlist so far the first one is about the course on data structure the second one is placement into your questions on data structure and the third one is the one in which the current video is getting uploaded that is placement into your questions on c programming okay so do watch all the other playlist as well and the videos in those playlist do explore them and keep an eye on my forthcoming playlist which will be on java or object oriented programming concepts or even on algorithm analysis as well so let's move on to the next question uh, which we will be covered covering in this particular video that is what are the const and volatile keywords fine so in the previous video we had uh, looked at the type modifiers this const and volatile keywords are called as qualifiers fine so we are going to look at qualifiers in c which are which are nothing but const and volatile so you can see both const and volatile keywords are called qualifiers by c programming language you know they are generally used along with the data types while declaration of the variable so whenever we are declaring the variable we use data type you know we had seen in the previous video along with the data types we can also use type modifiers and if required we can also use qualifiers fine so let's uh, try to understand the use of these qualifiers okay step by step so starting with the first one that is const keyword now const keyword as the name suggests it is used to declare a variable for storing a constant or a fixed value fine so finally for storing the value we need a variable but suppose we want that variable to keep a fixed value or a value which shouldn't change then we have to make use of const keyword okay so we already have existing constants all of you know like we can have integer constants we can have character constants you know real constants uh, with obviously uh, fractions allowed we can even have string constant as a group of characters and all okay we may have uh, a separate video rather describing about the variety of constants we have they are called existing constants okay or we call them as literals also but do anything along with that as per the need user can also create its own constant and that can be called as symbolic constant now even though user feels that they are supposed to be constant or they are supposed to be treated as a constant unless we do that uh, intimation to the uh, compiler compiler will not take it uh, as a constant now for example uh let's take a, a variable rather pi which is of the type float so you can see float pi and i'd assign some value or initialize some value 3.14 now you know pi is considered to be a constant okay so i want my program to treat that pi as a constant but it will not what is pi right now pi is simply a variable created which is initialize the given value that is 3.14 you know what does that mean that means my program is capable of changing the value of the pro, uh, of that particular variable because it is treated as what it is treated as a variable are you getting that okay now what's the solution to it we have to convey this to the program or to the compiler that i want you to treat this as a constant and that is being done by the const keyword fine so if i want to avoid this that i want to avoid uh, using uh, pi as a variable i don't want my program to change its value then it can be declared using a const keyword something like this and when i do that my compiler understands that pi supposed to be treated as a constant and obviously it will be very essential to assign some value or initialize some value at that point because once i make it const i will not be allowed to change its value so if at all i don't initialize you know it will keep the garbage value as a constant value and it's of no use so it goes without saying that whenever we use const keyword along with the variable the variable must be initialized okay so now if i do any attempt of changing the value of pi obviously as a programmer i know that i want pi to be a constant but suppose uh, unknowingly 
in some steps in a big program program changes the value or tries to change the value of pi then even that will not be allowed because it will result into a compilation error cannot modify a const object fine so before we move ahead let us do this testing okay we anyways can do that on a uh, turbo c compiler okay uh, maybe many times uh, i'm being uh, like objected of using the turbo c compiler maybe i can go ahead with newer compilers as well uh, but i guess with this also you can understand the development of logic and you can very well go ahead with the advanced com compilers to do the coding i would also soon switch to maybe a some modern compiler as well uh, but then these also uh, this particular compiler also has some sort of memories and uh, you know uh, a lot of uh, old days uh, or old memories can be cherished with this okay so uh, currently what you can see is i had created a float pi which is currently considered as a variable i have assigned some value to it i'm printing it and uh, let's assume that by mistake i'm making it zero which actually i want my program to object but it won't and hence you will see the value of pi being created as or being changed as zero fine so let us run this and you can clearly see the output can you you can see that initially it was 3.14 and very easily it is being changed to zero now what that means that means my program is treating pi as a variable now a simple keyword const will solve this problem so i will simply add a const here and i'm keeping the same thing so 3.14 is initialized so initial printf is not a problem but when i'll make pi equal to zero that line is supposed to give me compile time error let's check yeah you can see there is some error and you can see the error message very clearly cannot modify a const object and it is objecting this on this particular line so i hope now you understood that a use of const keyword would surely uh, make or would solve the problem because even if i have a big program and somewhere down the uh, lane you try or your program tries to by mistake change the value of a const uh, object then it will generate an error and it it won't be possible right so that's about the const keyword let's move on to the next one that is volatile keyword now what is the basic concept behind volatile volatile is generally not very useful in a normal set of programming okay because generally volatile keyword obviously also can be used while declaring of the variable you know along with the data type like this volatile int a now what's the use of this it indicates that a variable can be changed by a background process or a background routine you know what it means we are allowing our variable to be changed by other routine than our program so it might happen that you have not done any changes in that variable but a background routine has done the change in your variable if at all you print or you access from your program you would be able to see the change okay obviously that practically showing would be difficult because it depends on uh, how the background uh, routine will work on your variable and how it will change it but that's the concept so if you see every what exactly the uh, reaction from the compiler would be for this then if i make my variable volatile then every reference to the variable will reload the uh, the contents of the variable from the main memory so it will not be relying upon the local copy of the variable because as i just now said the local copy will stay with your program and the background routine will change the main memory's copy so if at all you access a local copy you might land up in accessing the stale value and that's the reason obviously you will be uh, loading or rather not you but your program will always be loading the copy from the main memory okay so that's the beauty of volatile keyword but if at all you do make the variable volatile then compiler opt optimizations are not applied obviously on the volatile keyword or vol volatile variables for a very simple reason because the value of the variable can be changed by the code which is outside the scope of the current code and that too at any point of time so it's not possible to have a local optimization or a compiler optimization being applied now what is the significance of the volatile keyword obviously it is to ensure that all the threads okay always see the latest value even though there is a cache system that is you know keeping a local copy uh, or even the optimizations are being applied even if that is happening still we can assure that all the threads are always referring to or looking at 
the latest copy of the variable and that's possible by making it volatile because it forces the compiler to load always from the main memory fine so i hope you people have understood both the qualifiers very well that is const as well as the second one that is volatile okay this was about the qualifiers in c fine so as usual we came to the end of this particular video so i hope you have understood it and you are enjoying the new playlist that is c programming okay i'll be coming up with more basic fundamental concepts which will clear all your doubts as well as will make your fundamental very strong fine so that's it uh, for this video thank you and as usual i'll say happy learning